Hi, I'm Ames Morrison. I'm the co-founder of Medlock Ames. Last year, we celebrated our 25th anniversary of farming this vineyard and making wine here. We looked at about 100 different properties before we just kind of stumbled upon this place. And right away, I just grabbed it. Something about it just made us realize that we'd found our, found our home. From the very beginning, we had decided that we wanted to farm organically. So when we got started, that was just a really big part of our sort of founding ethos. One of the things that drew me to Midlock Ames was their focus on sustainability, their organic farming, and their focus on the land. We're just doing good farming, and that resonates with me. Organic is really just tells you what you can't use. You, you can't use certain chemicals, but that's sort of where it ends. And so we ended up getting the certification called Regenerative Organic Certified. In order to get that certification, you have to be organic to start with. And with Regenerative, it goes beyond that and looks at soil health, making sure that we're protecting the soil, making sure that we're making the soil life more vibrant, more alive. Oh, here we've got some Queen Anne's Lace, which is a, um, th this, this has a huge white flower head that will attract a lot of beneficial insects. So I always like to see those. It's a, it's a cousin of the carrot. And then there's an aspect of worker health worker safety. We include our vineyard workers in all of our decision-making, all the things that happen in the vineyard. We make sure that we're paying them a living wage, which sounds like a really low bar, but it's, it's actually very challenging in agriculture to pay a living wage in Sonoma County that has a pretty high cost of living. But it's so important to us to have consistency in our workforce. We have people that have worked here for 20 years, and they have so much site knowledge and understanding of the, the nuances of different aspects of the vineyard and how that influences the wine. So that's a really key part of our operation. We're 100% estate grown here. So that means that every wine we make comes from fruit, from grapes that we grow right here on the property. We have this incredible, very detailed knowledge of this particular site. We know it so well. And we also have complete control over what we do. That smaller scale allows us to be better farmers. And we can take a, a very lot by lot approach rather than just sort of treat everything as a whole. Last year, we released a new wine for us. We identified our 10 favorite barrels in the entire cellar. We blended them and made this wine. We kind of had a working name for it, but we hadn't come up with a name yet. We called it the flagship and sometimes the flag for short. In the 1860s, my great-great-grandfather founded a newspaper called the Russian River Flag. So we decided to name the wine after sort of in, in honor of my great-great-grandfather. We found the inaugural newspaper that he published, and so we put the text on the bottle. And then when we sell it, it's wrapped in a reprint of that original newspaper. This one glass you're tasting, it captures everything that happened in that growing season all the decisions that were made, all the hard work that went into farming. It's a little bit like photography and then it's, it captures this one perfect moment.